like varials. I watched your videos, your skate support videos. Alright, here's my Ollie. Here's my cape flip. Okay, great. So thanks a lot for putting all the effort into your video. I'm going to do my very best to help you out here. Cool. So the first thing that I noticed was on your kickflip, your flick was a little bit different. You're actually flicking just down and out a little bit. You're, you're still able to bring your foot back up and around and land it, which is good. But like is shown here, once you go to do the varial flip, it's like, ugh, you gotta, you gotta really have the kickflip a little bit more mastered. And like I, like I said, you can do the kickflip, it is good, you are doing it, but the direction of your flick is going to give you just harder problems later on on some of the more difficult tricks. Cool, so just to run through this super fast, ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove it, front side shove, heel flip, kick flip. I would have liked to see you do all of those, um, just so I can see. But here, I want to point it out, look at your, your front foot. It does, it goes beneath the board just a little bit. Not too much where you're not able to get it back up above it, which is good. But then when you bring it into the varial flip, it just gets a little more awkward here. So your front foot there stopped the board from rotating fully. And that's kind of what like gave you a hard time there. Let's see what happens this one. Again, your front foot kind of pushes it down a little bit. And then the board just kind of goes down into the ground. It doesn't fully make that rotation. So notice on my kick flip that it never goes beneath the board at all. So that's really, really a, a super huge key important factor not only for having good kick flips but also again like I said for moving up into varial flips 360 flips front side flips backside flips etc so you have the basic general idea down is just get a kick flip get a pop shove it put the two together you got a varial flip but the thing that's lacking here is just the board control and what I want you to do again is go back and just truly master flicking up on the kick flip so that your whole flick looks more like that. And then you can keep your front foot right there, ready to catch that board, stop it from rotating, and then just put both feet down. Cool, so your back foot looks fine, your pop shove it looks fine, and it looks like you do have that motion down. So you're actually not too far away, you're actually really quite close. I wouldn't be surprised if you have landed this trick already because I know it's taken me a little bit to get this skate support up for you, so sorry about that. Cool, so yeah, I think that gives you enough to practice. If you're still having any troubles with it after going back and really getting that flick of the kickflip down, just practice it by stepping off your back foot, catching it with your front foot, and then just putting it down. So yeah, stepping off is also just always a good way just to increase your board control in whatever trick you're trying to do. So again, up through that that whole lineup and it is good to run through all of this just so you just so you have it all down like you didn't show me your front side or your back side 180 but I wouldn't be surprised if you do have those down quite well also because you do look pretty sturdy on your board for any of you guys mastering the basics of skateboarding get skateboarding made simple don't wait it will help you it is a full detailed just trick tip tutorial it's about an hour long and it's just super detailed and it will help out a lot. Cool, so thanks a lot for your guys' help and support. Make sure and hit the like button and thanks as always, you guys are the best.